that the proper consular access is not granted to Purushan Jadhav. And we are really hoping in 2020 years. And we applauded the statement by the minister. However, there has been some unseemly crowing in Pakistan since yesterday that on many other key points the ICJ did not uphold our point of view. For example, that the ICJ did not annul the proceedings of the court even though they were unfair. The ICJ did not object to either the verdict or the sentence. It merely stayed the sentence and asked the Pakistanis to review their judgment. This is a question that concerns many people in India and we wanted further clarification from the government as to how they would be in a position to deal with the situation if indeed Pakistan simply reaffirms its original judgment claiming they have conducted a review or whether there is a possibility of appealing to the ICJ to review these parts of its judgment. Uh, on this, we are still uh, hoping for a clarification from the foreign minister. The Indian courts, this is not unusually long. Yeah. I think it took a couple of years. Uh, so that's, uh, and given that it's a court of 15 judges, including one Pakistani judge, I think we should be grateful that we've got to go. And in, the, in that time, of course, Jadavji was safe. I mean, there was no withdrawal of the stay, but he could not have been executed without incurring the displeasure of the court and of the international community. So I would not complain about the, the length of the trial, but I am very anxious that we ensure that this question, because my basic argument would be that when the person does not have access to a consul, when he does not have access to a good defense lawyer, when the proceedings are going on in a kangaroo court, a military court by definition, is not the same as a civilian court by due process. After all of that, how can this be considered a fair trial? And if the trial is unfair, should we not appeal to the ICJ to say that this uh, trial itself should be invalidated? That is the question, and it may be worth uh, looking at the possibility of that. Uh, certainly, we have to monitor proceedings in Pakistan very carefully, because as we know in that country, it is always possible that they would simply uh, say we've conducted a review and we are going to hang it tomorrow, that kind of thing must be prevented.